Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. Now, without any delay, let's go and jump to the WordPress site where I'm going to show you how can you modify with a single line a way the actual posts and pages are dealt when you actually delete them. Many, many times people actually delete the actual or trash the actual post or pages just because they want to put it somewhere safe and they forget about it maybe they put it there because they want to do something in the later time they forget about it and then they go after 30 days yes 30 days and they can't find the file anymore now with this single line that you need to put it in the config file like the way i'm going to show you that will resolve this issue you got multiple choice you can change the amount of days from 30 days to whatever amount of days you want or you can actually completely remove the trash can by adding a zero just follow me and i'm going to show you how all right so we are in the pages tab those are the pages available again it works with posts and pages now every time you over on each page or posts you will find in red trash now you can click it and once you click it it will automatically send the actual file into the trash i'm going to send the contact into trash as you can see here now if i leave the actual page inside the trash after 30 days the actual file will you know will be gone will be automatically deleted and this is what we're going to tackle with this single line all right so there are multiple ways to do this now and the important is to modify the actual file, the config or WP config. Now you can actually use cPanel Plesk or in this case for myself is going to be CyberPanel. All you need to do, you need access to the file manager. Now as you can see, this is Plesk and by clicking on file manager, I'll be redirected to the actual root of the actual website of the domain. And here you can see the structure of WordPress and the file I'm going to modify is WP config.php now i'm not going to use this method now for this tutorial but i'm going to show you a different method by using a plugin just in case you don't have access or for you it's difficult to do that by installing a free plugin now i do not recommend this way but again i'm going to show you because just in case you can't have access to the other method so you search for a file manager and as you can see i already got one installed after you are done it's very good practice to uh remove the actual file manager or you deactivate it okay uh, at the moment is active as you can see and the file manager is on the left corner here as you can see there i'm gonna click it and i get more or less the same thing when you get installed for the first time i'm gonna say no tags and again we got the same structure that you've seen on the other side and here you can see the wpconfig.php. Now to edit, you right click and you press on code editor. That will open the file. And here is the actual line of code that you see that we're gonna use. Define empty trash days X. You're gonna change the X with a number. By adding the zero, the trash can will totally disappear. And under each page or post, you get delete apparently. You don't get that trash. Or you can actually change the X with any numbers you want. Again, the default is 30. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to put it at the end of the page, but in later stage, you will see it. I put on the top of the page. So no, don't put it here where, I, where you see it, but put it on the line number two or number, number three, as you will see later on. As you can see here, I'm going to put it on number three. But what you see here is the, I tried and I had uh, issues, so I had to, you know, redo it. I have some kind of an error. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change that to zero. So I'm going to show you that once you do that and you save and close, you go to the actual page, the actual, uh, the actual page or post will automatically have no choice that you will have to actually delete, uh, delete rather than trash it. So I'm going to add a new page here, just a test page. So you can actually see that once you hover on top, the trash will automatically disappear. So I'm going to do just a test page and that's all I need really. I'm going to press publish and I'm going to go back out and I'm going to show you. And as you can see now, you get delete permanently rather than trash every time you actually over on each 
page again on posts as well as i'm going to show you later on i'm going to do code editor so again and as i told you earlier on now the actual line is not anymore on the bottom but is on line three as you can see there with the actual zero i had some kind of a 404 error and i don't know even why 404 uh, but again it's up to where you want to put it like you know after php is that's up to you it works i tried both ways so it works okay so now let's go to the posts let's create a post and let's have a look if it works as well the same as the actual page so i'm going to click add new post test test and i'm going to publish it now i'm going back to the menu there over the posts where i can find all the posts there and when i over on top as you can see it says delete permanently all right so as you can see here delete permanently let's go back now logically i do have many other tutorials i'm going to put it back on 30 days as i need that again you can put 365 days two days three days that's up to you as you want to do it when i'm happy i'm going to save and close and again it's up to you if you want to delete the plugin once you're done or you can actually perhaps you want to deactivate it now i'm going back to the post let's refresh and as you can see trash is already there so thanks guys for joining me for this small and fast tutorial i hope i you know i hope really you enjoyed it as much as i did making it and i see you next time when i'm going to produce a new video goodbye